So they're going to have pull their chairs um, in a line, and we'll have some, a time for a talk bag. Let's get chairs and line them up. Well, thank you for lending your young people for this experience. And so I'd like them first to introduce themselves, uh, your name, uh, your grade, your school, and uh, how, uh, and tell them about your acting experience. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm Victoria Bradley, eighth grade. I go to Detroit Edison. And I started out um, in like plays when I was younger. Um, then my godmother wrote. Um, then 2016, I was a part of her program at um, U of M, and it kind of led me to here. My name is Adane Woods. I'm in 10th grade at Martin Luther King, and I did the um, youth theater program over the, sum the last two summers. My name is Taylor Williams. I'm in 10th grade, and I go to Arts Academy in the Woods. Uh, this is my first acting experience ever. So. Okay, so my name is Shannon Harper. I'm in 11th grade. I go to Southfield A and T, so Southfield Arts Technology. Um, acting experience. I've been in a few plays. Sorry. Okay, so my name is Matthew Mason Dean. Some people call me Matt for short. I'm in the 11th grade, and I also go to Southfield A and T. So how I began like comfortable in acting, I saw this ad on TV for an extra in a movie, and then I got cast for that. So that's how I kind of got led to this. Well, my name is Brendan. Uh, I guess they say I'm the oldest for last. I'm 18. Um, I'm a senior and also go to Southfield a and um, I've been acting since I was uh, 13 years old. I'm 18 now, so like five years, I guess. And I plan on going to Eastern in the fall to probably study more acting. and Not as like a major, because that would be kind of I, that's, that's cool. Um, but <laughs> I'm saying that, um, yeah, I just want to have fun with it and probably do it in my life later on. <laughs> okay. So, um, first, I wanted to ask you about the process that you went through. You didn't have a lot of time. And so, uh, tell me, you know, as an actor, what you had to do to. Um, uh, to address the multi characters that you have to play, so anybody can. Just go, just go well, um, I wish I would have thought about the question before I started to answer it. But um, <laughs> well, what made it like kind of, it was kind of fun because it was um, I'm not really the type to you know be 20 and want to like date like a 17 year old person. So it's pretty fun to to to, to like. <laughs> no, whoa! But I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm just saying that um, it was kind of different, fun, not fun because it's weird, but it's good to try new things and new different things. And it's just the, the thing I love, I love about acting is that you never know what you're gonna play as, you never know what you're gonna do. And so it's like if you're able to do really kind of weird roles or really nasty roles, then that means that you can you can like be all across the spectrum in a way. So it's like. It's uh, cool. <laughs> well, as for me, playing David and switching from David to, or Marcus to David, wasn't really that hard. But what became difficult as I progressed through the uh, reading was, he's reading in third person. And so it's kind of like Inception. She's reading from a book, but we're playing the characters in the book. Mm -hmm. So I had to change my mindset and say, oh, I'm David, but I'm thinking as David in the moment. So it was kind of confusing that way, but I, I just kind of worked with it. Like, I played like three roles. Like, my first role was making me really mean. I'm sorry. But I, 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 I felt really bad. I, I didn't, then I was a teacher, and on set, I kept telling people to get off their phones and be quiet, but nobody wanted to listen to me. So I kind of went to that teacher role. That was uh, my favorite. So I don't have like any comments to like talk about my characters, but like, how I memorized the line, I like forced my parents and everybody around me to like read the other lines until they got sick of me. So, yeah, that's what I did. Um, I really wish we knew we were doing this before we had to talk, but um, I only play one role, so I, it wasn't really that difficult, but it was fun. I got to talk a lot, and I don't really talk, so that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs>
but like it was like it wasn't uncomfortable. It was kind of working for me, like to be the mom, cause like she was older and like I was. Older. <laughs> and, <Too long. laughs> and um, like it was a fun experience, cause it forced me to like know, like like the rush of like last minute, like not last minute, but like the rush of like not having like that many rehearsals and this, and to force me to like practice more and like. Okay. So how many of you had ever heard of Dudley Randall before the play? Okay, so two of you. Okay, and so what did you learn uh, about Dudley Randall from doing this play? Or, or how did your, did, did your perception change of him after doing this play? Or what, um, yeah. Well, uh, prior to the audition, I actually looked up who Dudley Randall was, and I read some of his poems, so I kind of saw where he went in terms of his material. So nothing really surprised me when I read the script. So I knew it was gonna be like a, um, a derivative of his poems and works, so. Well, I didn't really know him before. And so like, kind of hearing about him now kind of like made him exist to me. Mm -hmm. And so it's just like, it was kind of fun. And he's like a really good poet and like, a, it's like, before this, I never was really into poetry. Mm -hmm. But like now it's like, I kind of, when I go home and just search poetry, so I don't know. <laughs> well, I didn't know who he was, but oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't know who he was, but like, I feel like, um, like now that I like read his like poetry and stuff, and like know his story, I do kind of like want to like get his book or something and like read it. It makes me like more interested in his story, his background. Um, I really only read like one of his poems, it's like a school thing, mm -hmm. so I didn't really know he did short stories too, so that was kind of interesting. That's all I, got. I just learned that um, he got acknowledged uh, at the, like more at the end of his life, mm -hmm. so I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And Shannon, if you want to add anything? So, um, at first, like when you said we were doing poems, because I'm on uh, I'm activities director for our poetry club, our school's poetry club, so it made me like want to take some of the poems back to show them. Mm -hmm. So because uh, in poetry club they're always like telling us like why are all your poems so sad? So he has some happy <laughs> poems. <laughs> like I guess so yeah. All right, all right, very good. Um, questions from the audience. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure somebody has a question to ask these. Young people. Thank you. I'd like to ask what's for dinner today. That's a question for me. Yes, yes. <laughs> Would you guys consider actually putting this on at your school? Oh, yeah. Like mm -hmm. by yourselves, like actually orchestrating the whole thing, and getting a whole group of kids together and performing? Mm -hmm. My school closed our drama club, so. Uh -huh. Well. Yeah. Uh, my school closed. Uh, uh, um, well, okay, so we're um, actually. I'm president. He's vice president. Let's be on front. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's like, all right, so we, it's like, uh, last year was kind of a thing, but this year, since I'm graduating, I'm excited about this, but we made like a new drama club, and so it's like, she's the president, I'm the vice president, and this could be like pretty fun to actually do because we have enough members to do it, and if not, do it exactly, we can even probably build on it to make mm -hmm. it probably even like better, and so it's just, it's the opportunities are endless with this one, so it could be pretty cool to do that. Yeah, probably. yeah I would do it. Yeah. I probably would do, I would do it after school, like as an after school play, not like during school, because kids don't have Yeah, because our freshmen are yeah. really so. terrible. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Have you three worked together before it with another company? Yeah. Well, actually, three. us two. Okay. And them two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, me and her have. It was like this thing called the... Yeah, we have. Yeah. So and what was the name of it? Yeah, um, me and Brendan have did like eight scenes where we were together, so I'm kind yeah. of sick of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we did um, Kinetic Energy. It's this poetry group. Um, so they did a play called She Says. So who is she? She Says. Those who is she? Who is she? Yeah. We did a play called Who is she? <laughs> so, yeah, we worked a lot, uh, together a lot for the past couple yeah, of years. Yeah, that's why, like, as you, as you can see up there, I was so comfortable with her, because it's like, We've been best friends yeah. for like the past year or so. I, yeah, so it's like, it's easy to like. Like every time we have a scene, he's either like we, for next 
month in May. He's my husband next month for this. Yeah, so he's a boyfriend, husband, and best friend. And all three of us actually were in our school's Black History Month program. So yeah, so we do a lot. Yeah. So I want to ask you another question then. So what? Um, so what did you learn about acting that you didn't know before? Uh, before this experience. So why don't we start with um, Victoria? Um. I always thought like acting was like easy and you just like read the lines and like especially like on a movie like if they have like the set and like the cameras and then like behind the camera would be like the words or something. <laughs> like just in case you didn't remember. <laughs> but like not nah, like like I'm like you have to memorize stuff and you have to rehearse and you have to be committed to practice every single day and like you have to um basically put like be committed to it. And I just thought it was just like a, a easy laid back thing. Oh, good. Good lesson. Okay, yes. I learned that it's probably a good idea to open my script at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. You have such a perfect comic time. <laughs> okay. Um, I learned that you have to put a lot of yourself out there and like not be afraid to grow into your character and just not to, like don't be ashamed to you know make mistakes. Um, so I like to go up on what you said about <laughs> the script because um, I am the worst procrastinator ever. So like I've done I've you know been in a few productions so I'm always like right before you go on stage quickly read through your lines and you got it. But like, so that poem we did <laughs> about Bilal, I did mess up. So I feel like, cause you know, right before you go on, you're supposed to go over your lines, blah, 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 and in my head was somewhere else. And it's like, no matter like how many plays you've been, you need to go over your lines. You still need to practice and not forget that. Even if you think you're all, you know, cool and that you good at memorization. Cause I should have been better on that than I did myself. Yeah. And as for me, I want to kind of go off what Taylor said. Um, I really learned that you have to be your character. Your character isn't necessarily you. Although you're putting some of yourself into the character, but you just you have to play your character. You can't, you know, think that your character is you. It's not. Well, um, I haven't learned anything. Well, actually, uh, actually okay, so it's like, I'm, um, I did learn some stuff. It's, um... Uh, yeah, I really didn't know. What what did you feel was emphasized that that that, that you really you had to something. take the heart? Because it's like um well I feel like you learned how to do walk in the small space. Because before you were like, I don't know how this is gonna work. This is not gonna work. Oh yeah, okay, so it's like yeah, I guess. I couldn't think of that for some reason. Thank okay. you, Shannon. But um it's like um I'm used to like working in like big spaces and like so like this is like this is the stage that we were working on, and so it was like harder to like not to make sure I wasn't in one of their ways or to not run into the piano or those chairs over there. So it was like kind of difficult and it was kind of fun to learn how to manage my space better. Right. And I mean, not, you did so much with this space. Right. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know I could do right. You brought so many scenes to life, and I couldn't imagine yeah. all that happening in this kind of little space. But it it did. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty. All right. Okay.